Hi, I own the Quantum X vacuum cleaner. This is by far the best vacuum I've ever had. It's worth every penny. I've had, I had a Dyson, I've had Hoover's. This is the best. But I wanted to give you a couple of troubleshooting mistakes because I've made some mistakes. Had to call customer service. So let me start um, with the first thing. Okay. So with a lot of vacuums, if the rollers get hairy and they don't roll anymore because they're they're clogged and you need to comb them out, um, then the, the brushes don't move. And my vacuum, that happened to my vacuum and the brushes were all stiff and weren't moving. So I you can use a comb or a little pair of scissors and cut some of the hair and take out all the clogs. And then the brushes will start moving again. But I thought maybe I needed to get in a little deeper. And so we took off this panel here. There's about six screws, this bottom panel. Don't ever do that. It was a big mistake because all you can see in there is electronics. And that's not how you clean your rollers. If your rollers, the brushes don't move, just use a little tiny scissors and a comb or something to get the hair out of there. That's all you need to do. With some vacuums, you take off this bottom panel and then you can take the brush out and clean it. That's not true with this vacuum. Don't ever take this panel off because for one thing, it doesn't work and it will void your warranty. And then you can't get the panel back on. So when I did that, it basically ruined my vacuum cleaner. I had to call customer service. They sold me a new base for about, I think it was $69, something like that. And then I just put the, you know, the machine on the base, everything worked fine. So then it was time to vacuum. So as you know, there's a water container that comes with your vacuum that collects all the dirt. So I filled it up and then there's this attachment that you put in like that. And then you attach it into your vacuum cleaner and it cleans better than any vacuum. So I attached it, vacuumed a rug I knew was dirty. The water was crystal clear. It was not picking up any dirt. I thought, no, what's wrong with my vacuum? So I called customer service again and they gave me a tip that I want to give you. It's so simple, but who knew? So they told me that there's a little flap right there on this black insert. And they asked me, they said, it's, it's a little rubber flap about the size of a quarter. And the customer service rep said, is that on the outside or inside? I said, it's on the outside. He said, push it in. So I pushed it in, hooked it back up, and it picked up all the dirt. So for some reason, that flap has to be in like that. And that's tip number one. Tip number two, don't ever remove the base. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your Quantum X. I love mine.